Hello again everybody this is another Microsoft Excel tutorial and this is going to be a real short one I just wanted to show you a, a cool feature of Microsoft Excel called the fill button and um, the fill button works with both functions and formulas but I just am kind of extending this spreadsheet that we used for our introduction to functions earlier uh, to show you how it works with that but you can use it you can use it for anything so up here we I've added more numbers to this table we have a table going on here and before we had learned if we wanted to go through and not have to calculate all these in our head we could use functions so I could say equal sum for the total equal average equal max equal min equal count and so forth and that is a lot easier than uh, doing it on paper using a calculator or figuring it out in your head and all that kind of thing but sometimes you have kind of a long table where you don't want to have to take the time to retype in the formula over and over again so uh, that's where the where the fill button takes place or where the fill button comes into play so what I'm gonna do if I have to figure out the total for all of these numbers right here what I can do is I can select this cell where I already have the an example of the of the function in there and when I have the cell selected and there's something inside of it you'll notice I have this black outline and then I have a little black square okay now when I have my mouse in the middle of the cell it kinda looks like a red cross plus sign if I have it on the edge it looks kind of like a compass with the arrows pointing all directions but if I move it directly above that little square I get this little tiny plus sign this little tiny cursor and what that is is that's activating the fill button so I'm gonna move my mouse over the square to where I have the tiny little plus and then I'm going to click and hold and then I'm going to drag over to the end of this table to the end of this row and then what that's going to do is it automatically applies this function into all of these other cells. So really you only have to do that once and then you can activate the fill button, click and drag, and move it to the edge and it does that for you. And so the same thing with average. Instead of going here and typing in equal average, double clicking and then selecting these and then doing that all the way down, all I have to do is do that one time and then I can click and drag over to the edge and then I can do that all the way down it works horizontally and the other thing about it is I'm just gonna shift all these down um, if I did the same thing up here total average obviously this table has no real purpose other than for just illustration but it shows you how these how it can work in both directions so I equal sum I'm struggling today. All right, and then equal count. Okay, so I retyped these in going horizontally, and now I the fill button works both directions side and up and down so I'll move my cursor up here I'll click and then drag down and works the exact same way 
So again, that is the fill button, and the fill button works for functions and for formulas. Uh, and what it does is it makes it so you don't have to retype in the same formula and same function over and over and over. You just select the cell that has the contents you want copied. You move your cursor over the corner, over the fill button, that little black square. You click and then hold and then you drag and that's how it works. Thanks again for tuning in and stay tuned for more.